I'll be honest. I don't like vacation. News is breaking. It drives me crazy. I got to get back to you. The Wendy Show is a lifestyle. It's not something that you invent. It's something that you are. Season 9 is going to be spectacular. Thank you for waiting. Finally, it's showtime. Turn on the lights. Let's go. From New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. If I could do a cartwheel, I would have cartwheeled and roller skated out here. I didn't know how I was going to act, so all my tears were shed backstage. And I, and I, no, I'm willing myself not to cry during this show, but I appreciate you waiting for us all summer long. Thank you, thank you. I hope you had a nice summer. I did a few very eventful things in between moisturizing and lying around like a sloth. Um, I spent time at Cynthia Bailey's house oh. at one o'clock in the morning. Oh. And before I went to, oh, all right, so Cynthia, Cynthia's daughter was home, but she was in the bed. The girls were filming um, Housewives of Atlanta until like 11 o'clock at night, but we were in Atlanta. I was doing a, an app tour promoting, you know, my app, my application. So, turns out uh, Cynthia, she opens the door, the first thing she says is, would you like something to eat, would you like some champagne? Oh. Well, it's one o'clock in the morning, I appreciated the offering, but you know, <laughs> no, what I would like is to have several seats. But uh, you know, I'm not in Atlanta a lot and I'm nosy, I wanna see how these chicks are living, right? No. Opening cabinets and walking around and stuff. She gave, me a full, she gave me a full tour, a beautiful house, perfectly well appointed, there's a fabulous lake in the back and it's just enough for she and her daughter. She doesn't overspend. Whereas, before I got to Cynthia's house, I was at Chateau Charest. <laughs> okay. And I was open, I mean, first of all, Charest had just gotten home as well from filming um, Housewives. Beautiful house, way more than a single woman who's a, now an empty nester needs. That's her bedroom. Oh yes, I'm all in, you know I'm in. I'm opening doors. <laughs> I'm, uh, yep, I'm folding my arms. I was thirsty, but I didn't want to ask, but she forgot to offer me something to drink. It's okay. It's okay. Look, we had a great time, though. Sheree's house is absolutely bachelorette beautiful. Beautiful. And, um, and, um, and then, oh, and there's more to both footages on my app. You know, this is just a little teaser here because it's opening day, season nine. Yeah. All right, all right. I can dish it out and I can also take it. So I went to Barbados with my husband. We were there for seven days. It's the last thing that we, oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> I did not see anybody with a camera. 
I am having the, you know, the boy stayed here. It was a lover's holiday. So these pictures have made me a hot topic, which I can't stand. Okay. <laughs> I told you I like to I told you I like to dip it into it. There are a lot of people that have a problem with me not having a behind. But how many times have I told you all that I am shaped like a capital P? My party is in the front, <laughs> never in the back. You know. And you know, I could buy a booty or wear booty pops or something like that, but I'm done with all that. You know what I mean? You know. Doing that. Shout out to the lovely T.I., who was very civilized in his comments regarding my lack of behind. But, but, you know, but he threw the ball, but he was very civilized. Well, you know, uh, T.I., I don't have a behind like you don't have height, which is why you wear lips. <laughs> And no, we're not fighting. In the name of Major and King and your cute family, we are not fighting. We are just grown people throwing subtle shade. Yeah. And so, and then to wind up the whole summer, so man calls me and he's like, you know, get ready, yo. <laughs> My man sounds like Vin Diesel, so just picture that. All right, get ready, yo. Um, put on something, you know, we're gonna, you know, round out the summer nice. I got a surprise. I'm like, okay. Cause I keep a very organized closet. So if you call me out, I, I can jump into any one of my numbers. Yeah. yeah, because life is hectic. Like who needs a messy closet? I, anyway, I organize. So I jumped into this beige mini dress with a turtleneck and long sleeves and, yep. And, look. I throw on my top knot wig featuring heavy bang <laughs> and my Gucci glasses that I took off the table from Trendy at Wendy here on the show. <laughs> and we're driving and the music is thumping. You know I like a particular kind of music. Hip hop, deep, deep 90s, 80s, like that. So, you know, I'm bouncing. I'm, I'm, I have no idea where we're going. We pass through Manhattan. Next thing you know, we're in Queens. I'm like, and I'm looking like, okay, where are we going? City Field to see Nas. <laughs> what? It's already enough that this man is a part of my everyday life, like every day. And by the way, he is my number one. You know, I like, like Biggie and, and the rest that, you know, respect, respect, respect. But he's my number one. So he did, he did all the music. <laughs> Whose world is this? Represent, memory lane, halftime, New York state of mind. And I knew all the words. And we were zipping it and doing it like we're 21. <laughs> Thank you, Nas. Thank you, Nas. Okay, okay, Kevin Hart. Oh. The biggest story going right now. He's in the middle of a huge cheating scandal. The girl is allegedly extorting him for $10 million, allegedly. Oh. Well, no, you shoot high and then you settle for the 1.5. <laughs> anyway, so, so someone allegedly caught Kevin on tape having sex with another woman, not his wife. Who, by the way, is 31 weeks pregnant. So yes, uh -huh, this is his second wife. Um, so this, this someone um, is extorting the $10 million. And TMZ posted an image from the video. Now you'll take a look. Do you think that's Kevin Hart? Yes. Well, the thing is, is that um, I'm not mad at the girl. Cause there's not room at, at Boston University for every girl. There's some girls who gotta do the Scooby-Doo to get there, you know, and, and, I mean, and, and, and that's a fact. But I'm mad at Kevin because Kevin, why is there film rolling? You're busy on her boob, if that's you, 
And she's looking at the camera like, yes. <laughs> and cheating is not right, but all I'm saying is if you're a rock star comedian who's, you know, stays at the top of the Forbes list and you've worked so hard on your career, why wouldn't you ask this girl to come into your territory where you know there are no cameras? Also, why don't you check cell phones? Like really, you know, you're, you're the Kevin the Hart. If you wanna be with me, give me your phone. And by the way, give me your bag so I can make sure you don't have a second phone. And you, you, it, If you don't wanna play by my rules, then I can get another. He's the Kevin the Hart. Which by the way, who's also married. Whose wife is real pregnant. Who was just caught in July with another chick. So his wife is pregnant and, and oh. Oh Kevin, I love you. You're my husband in movies for God's sakes. I've played his wife Gail twice and think like a man, so uh, that uh, I qualify. But Kevin, so he's tried to get in front of this situation by issuing an apology on his um, social media before this news, uh, this news broke. God, I'm so happy to be back here with you all. Oh my God. I really, you know, I love laying around and stuff, but I, you know, I can, I'm a worker bee. So thank you again for waiting. Anyway, okay, so look, so the news broke, but before it broke, he wanted to get in front of the problem. Take a look at this and then we'll discuss. I made a bad error in judgment and put myself in an environment where only bad things can happen and they did. And in doing that, I know that I'm gonna hurt the people closest to me, who I've talked to and apologized to, being my wife and my kids. So here's the thing, if I were him, I would not have done this because that's admitting that you did what you did. And you know, code of the streets is lie, lie, and lie. <laughs> I'm, not the, I'm not from the streets, but I do know the code. So he's admitted it. His wife, in, in my opinion, has a three to five year plan that she needs to work out. You, don't, don't do anything crazy, like divorce him right after you have the baby. Nope, you stay there. And I don't know whether you have a prenup, what's in it or what, but you know, when women become moms for the first time, particularly, uh, we need that extra support system. The man in the house, you know, and, and whatever else, you know, our parents around and the whole bit. So don't do anything stupid, girl. But just keep it in the back of your mind that for every stack he gives you to go shopping, you store 75% of that stack somewhere over there. Yeah. Oh, Kevin. What a mess. Not messier than American Idol though. See, Kevin, this is the thing. You gotta lay low and don't talk about this because the way pop culture moves, you know, and I'm the, po what do you all call me, the Pope? Pop culture. I'm the Pope of the pop, pope of pop culture. Pop culture. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, being the Pope of pop culture, I can tell you that by next week, Kevin, nobody's gonna be talking about you and whatever you've created in your relationship. People move on very quickly. For instance, Kevin's story, cause he's a rock star, is not as shocking to me as the mess going on at American Idol. Ooh. Oh, well, believe me you. <laughs> it's a mess over there. Okay, it looks like the show taping may be delayed because they can't find judges to join Katy Perry. Well, I, Katy Perry is probably a lovely woman, but she's not worth $25 million. 
Uh, you know, so they gave her this paycheck though, and that leaves a little tiny bit of money because they had a $40 million pool for the judges. And she sucked up over half the money. And by the way, won't deliver in my head. Like, you know talent when you see it for particular shows and stuff. I, I just don't see her doing it. So they are about to go, um, you know where they do that thing, they go from city to city with all the judges and stuff? That happens in four weeks. Four weeks. We left last season before going on hiatus with me saying, Katy Perry is not worth it, I'm gonna tell you that right now. And now we're back and they still have nobody to sit next to her. Lionel Richie wants uh, uh, a little bit more money. You know, Lionel Richie would be a great uh, judge. But they, uh, you know. I love Lionel Richie. I think he's got a youthful spirit. He knows music and, and, and he'd be good for that and a great personality. Um, but if they don't have the money because they've used up the money on Then, uh, Mr. Ritchie, I wouldn't settle either. Then somebody said um, in our morning uh, bureau meeting with Hot Topics, Patti LaBelle. I said, no, Patti and Lionel are from the same era. And she's fun also, but not in a I want to see her at the judge's table kind of way. You know? <laughs> but, no, here's the rub. They, the show, um, did everything around Katie's schedule. So not only are we giving you $25 million, but what's your schedule like so we can dress everything around you? Oh. Well. <laughs> so if they delay taping, guess what happens? It's gonna interfere with Katie's concert tour. Oh. Well, Katie's going out on concert tour. So they've got to start in four weeks. Oh, this is the kind of sloppiness that we love here at the show. <laughs> um, and Katie's the one who put it out there that she was making the $25 million on her social media. See, you, could, you should've kept that confidential because I'm not mad that Katie is judging. I'm mad that Katie has the entire show dressed around her and she's also not worth $25 million. That's what I'm mad at. I'll be watching only cause we here at the show love a train wreck. And we're back. Suzanne, did you have a lovely summer? Yes, I did, thank you. Uh -huh. We went to Ireland for three weeks. I heard. Uh -huh. Brendan's your, ancestors are from there. You're married to an Irish man? Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. So we went back to discover his roots. Uh-huh. How was it? It was great. We had a great time. Kids loved it. They did? Yeah, they loved it. How was the food? Not bad. They have a lot of fresh seafood. We ate a lot of seafood. It was nice. A lot of Irish soda bread and stuff? Yeah, no, I didn't see any soda potatoes? bread. Potatoes? I didn't see that many potatoes. I, I know, I didn't. I didn't see any soda bread whatsoever. What? A lot of beer. Okay. And they drink gin. A lot of greenery? A lot, of, like rolling hills? Hills, I beautiful green, yeah. lots of sheep yeah. running wild everywhere. Yeah, yeah, sheep. Uh, it was great, it was great. Three weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was nice. Gee, mm -hmm. I, cu I couldn't go anywhere for three weeks. I, I would stab myself in the eyeballs. <laughs> we moved around a lot. Like Barbados was nice, mm -hmm. but even seven days, oh. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm ready to go back to Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lighting the um, Empire State Building tonight. So, so here's the deal. So the officials call up and they're like, we wanna do something or however this got all hooked up. They're, I'm flipping the switch. They sent me, you know, the color palette at home, you know, and I couldn't believe, like I'm sitting, you know, you know, watching TV, minding my own business. At the same time, they're picking out the colors that I want for the Statue of Liberty. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so grateful. So I picked pink and purple. Yeah. And if you're walking around Manhattan tonight and you look up, just, you know, flap it how you doing. 
and cause it's Wendy Day at the Empire State Building. I can't <laughs> wait. So Randy Jackson is going after Janet's husband. Oh. All right, it's time for Keeping Up With The Jacksons. Hit it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Janet's brother, Randy, now she, she, Janet is the youngest, but Randy is second to her. So they're close. Now, when last we talked about Randy's employment, he was stocking shelves at the Ralph's. Oh, you know I remember stuff. At the Ralph's grocery store. Right. It's okay, because a real man works, no matter what that work is. It's okay. So Janet's brother, and Nas was so chill about it too. It was a real New York thing. He had on basketball shorts and a pair of premium sneakers and a Gucci t-shirt that was soaked. Like once he finished performing, like I hugged him and stuff, he probably doesn't believe anything that I said, like this is big. I got misty in the car, but I swore to myself I wasn't going to cry in front of him. You know what I mean? But yes, it was a moving experience, yes. Mm. Anyway, so, Janet's brother Randy is claiming that Wasim was abusive to Janet throughout their marriage. Oh. Mentally abusive, not physically. You know, verbally. Uh, he, Wasim, yes. Well, um, they say that he used, to, he used to call her a bitch on a regular basis, but particularly while she's pregnant. Now see, don't we call each other names all the time? Not like that, but there is, oh, come on. <laughs> Depending on the circumstance, you don't know what's going on. We don't know what's going on. Listen, Janet says she felt like, allegedly, according to Randy, felt like a prisoner in her own home. Well, if he'd been doing this all along in their relationship, then why marry him? See, she took the next step to marry him. And then why get pregnant by him? And now you're trapped. Wasim's attorneys are denying these allegations. Um, in our Hot Topics Bureau meeting, people are saying, well, why is Randy talking? Uh, and I said, because in my mind, Randy is the mouthpiece for Janet. Janet Jackson is royalty. She's not going on a Twitter rant. She, she's not going to talk to, you know, page six about, or, or, or TMZ or Hot Topics about what's going on in her life. She's royalty. So that's where you have Randy to come in. Randy, here's what you tell him. And now you tell him this. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Plus, Randy is the perfect foil to um, what she needs dispensed to us, because Randy needs a paycheck. I mean, if you're stacking cans at Ralph's, but you've got a very wealthy sister who you do love. It's not like a usation of the situation, but you know, yeah, why, why not? You know, Janet, what do you need me to say next? Oh, by the way, um, that car note is due. <laughs> Listen, all I know is that, uh, like I told you, Janet has lost that weight, and she's on tour. <laughs> and, okay. And she looks fantastic. Is that a booty pop? Oh. What was that going on back there? Anyway, Janet, uh, congratulations to you. Randy, keep up the good snitching. And we've got more great show for you, everybody. The legendary Cece Peniston is here, and she's gonna perform a special Wendy version of her classic, Finally. But up next, we've got the inside scoop on Selena Gomez and her surprising kidney transplant, plus that Mel B divorce is sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. So, grab a snack and... You got it.